the largest ever online extortion scheme in history. And across the world over the weekend, governments were getting together with intelligence services to try and find a way to stop this virus from spreading. It started on Friday in London, when Britain's National Health Service was paralyzed by the massive cyber attack known as WannaCry. Hospitals were forced to cancel or delay treatment for sick patients. It quickly spread to other countries, hitting Germany's National Railway and hundreds of businesses in China and Japan, including car plants, factories and telecom services. U.S. Department of Homeland Security officials have said a limited number of American companies have been... Um, and now we're also hearing that two highly regarded security firms are saying that there might be a possible, possible connection to North Korea. There's a group there called Lazarus, which is known to be one of their hacking units. And if this is the case, if North Korea is indeed behind this, but it takes cyber warfare to a whole new level. James? All right, Benjamin Hall in London, we can't rule out that uh, our own technical difficulties this evening might not be the result of some sort of attack. We doubt it. We hope not. But Benjamin Hall, thanks very much for that report. Up next, the new Miss USA offered up some fairly tame political views during the pageant. And